A vindication of Governor Christie. Those words from a report investigating the New Jersey governor's role in the state's Bridgegate scandal. An internal review may have just cleared the way for New Jersey Governor Chris Christie to run for president. A law firm Governor Chris Christie hired says the governor was not involved in a plot to create gridlock near the George Washington Bridge as part of a political retribution scheme. The report, which was released Thursday, looked at Christie's email and cell phone records, finding he did not know of the lane realignment beforehand and had no involvement in the decision to realign lanes. Governor Christie's account of these events rings true. The report also claims the bridge closure was not motivated by the mayor of Fort Lee's refusal to endorse Governor Christie during his re-election campaign. According to the report, the motivation for the closure is not yet clear. However, the report did find several of Christie's appointees, including aide Bridget Kelly, campaign manager Bill Stepien, and Port Authority official David Wildstein, did know about the plan. As USA Today reports, Stepien was unaware the plan was meant as political retribution and believed it was actually a traffic study. Kelly was the aide behind the email that read, Time for some traffic problems in Fort Lee. Despite the apparent exoneration of Christie, though, some are crying foul. The report's detractors point to the fact the investigation did not interview Kelly, Stepien, or Wildstein. The Star-Ledger quotes New Jersey Democratic Assemblyman John Wisniewski saying, If we don't hear from the person who put the lane closures into motion, Bridget Kelly, if we don't know why she sent that email, if we don't know who gave her the authority to send that email, if we don't know what she thought she may be accomplishing by sending that email, then we can't have a complete picture of what happened here. The report also found claims by the mayor of Hoboken that the Christie administration attempted to force her to approve a private development project in exchange for Superstorm Sandy aid were, quote, demonstrably false. Five people, including Kelly and Stepien, have been fired as the scandal has unfolded. Wildstein resigned his post in December. For Newsy, I'm Candace Aviles.